So all right, family. So we're gonna have a bunch of followers. We're gonna show y'all today how to be a chemist on your own. This is called the pH test. Now for you those who don't know what pH is, uh, basically potential hydrogen. So we need, we're gonna find out the potential hydrogen in all these uh, so-called beverages that's supposed to hydrate you. What I have right here is a pH tester right here. It's a drop. Uh, the strips, I like the strips, but I, I definitely like the drops way better because you can actually see the water turn color. Now we got some uh, Sangrio right here for all my alcoholics. We got Gatorade for all you athletes. We got Fiji water, which they say come from an island. We got Sprite Zero. We got Smart Water. And we got Propel. What I'm going to do with this chart right here, I'm going to go ahead and drop the, uh, the pH tester in there to see what substance is acid and what substance is alkaline. Now, you can see the chart right here. 7 is neutral. Anything above 7, God made. Anything below 7, man made. Now, how do we know this? How do we know that God made everything that's alkaline and man made everything that's acid? Well, starch, because anytime you mix starch with an uh, a organic substance, you bind in them through chemical, through, through chemical affinity instead of uh, the natural affinity through uh, alkalinity. So, six, the blood is supposed to be at 10. <laughs> but nowadays, if we test our blood, it'll probably be somewhere in between neutral. Meaning that anytime the flu season come around, that's how we get sick. That's how your, your son get the ear infection, the nose running uh, when the winter comes. Because his, his, uh, his pH is already low, so he's able to contract the disease. The same thing with uh, women out there. As soon as you ingest soy, a lot of soy products, that's where you get the vaginal discharge from. Because of soy products. Now, most people uh, correlate acidic with sour stuff but no you can test i'm gonna do that experiment next too not next but probably next weekend sugar cane is sweet as hell but if you give it a ph test it'll be on the acid side so now our taste buds we gotta we gotta get that out of our head as far as our taste buds uh anything that's sour is acidic no no you can have something sweet that'll be on the uh, acid side too and uh you can ask my wife this too i tested my semen yeah i'm gonna tell you that and guess what? It was alkaline. All because of uh, the green food pills and your urine. Your urine, you get a lot. You get you get rid of a lot of waste in your body because the food that you're eating are constantly putting the same vitamins and uh, minerals inside your body. Now the scientists say that uh, the dirt has 102 minerals in it. Well, guess what? So should the body. Notice I said minerals and not acid, because I'll ask people what a protein is. And they'll tell me protein is eight, one of the 18 amino acids. As soon as they say acids, I know they don't know what they're talking about. Because acid could not be used in the body at all. Now, most people say, well, I got stomach acid that uh, breaks down the food. No, you created that stomach acid. So, when, therefore, when you put those foods in your body, that starch, it needs that to break it down. But if your body uh, didn't have that uh, stomach acid in it, you would just go through the process what we call chemical affinity. You eat those foods that you're made of, and when you eat it, they meet up with each other. So if I'm eating a plant that has iron in it, that iron goes in my body and it looks for the rest of the iron with it, and it joins up. That's what we call chemical affinity. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys real quick. We're going to start over here with the propel. Propel. Let's see. Let's see, baby. God damn. Look at that. Propel, baby. That's five. <laughs> That's a five. See if it's uh, clear on the camera for me, baby. All right, so this is Propel at the five level. Mm -hmm. It's clear? Mm-hmm. All right. So when you think you're getting hydrated, hydrated now, you're getting dehydrated. Let's go with the smart water. Smart water. Where you at? Where you at, baby? Mm -hmm. Smart water is six, close to neutral. Not bad. Not bad, small water, all right. Still, I'm gonna show you guys how to research too because you can just call on the back of the number and you get the nutritional guy from them explaining what they put in it. Let's go to Sprite. 
Oh God. <laughs> Look at my old Sprite, baby. Well, not bad. I thought no. it would be a four, but it's a five. They say obey your thirst, huh? Hmm. Well, guess what? You gonna need some water with that. Exactly. So that's at a five. Mm-hmm. Now, Big Fiji. Let's see where you at, baby. Oh, well, actually, that came from the Kegel machine. All right. Now, <laughs> she just told me this is the water that comes from the machine that we drink. Yeah, my apologies. I was ten. Hydrated. <laughs> nine, nine and a half. Now, it's some, it's some, uh, some things that we have to investigate about that drinking machine too. Right. As far as the little droplets that's in it, that that. The solution. Right, right. But still, we see that the solution doesn't make. The water alkaline because mm -hmm. we are out of the solution. Yeah, and we just pump it straight from the machine. If so, anything, I've heard that the um the metal, the titanium, the metal titanium metal, could actually leak some type of toxin. So that's worth okay. researching. So one thing I'm finding out about water too is water is clean through a process of geothermal water. So that's the best water. The water that flows underneath the volcano and comes out on the other side is called a hot spring. So what could the hot springs be found? Guess what? In between that tropical cancer and Capricorn. Mm. Yes, I'm in Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii. They might have uh hot hold on, what's say he they say hot springs and uh like the one what's the one in Yellowstone? That's hot springs? Yeah. Okay. Alright, we testing Gatorade now. Don't they have geysers as well? Geysers, yeah. Oh god. Wow. So Gatorade. Look, so you know, remember I told you don't follow none of the rappers do? Well, guess what? Don't follow none of the athletes do too either. Because <laughs> they promoting this shit and we way over here on the five. Mm -hmm. So that's Gatorade for you. Now let's go to our saying grill. Oh, no no y'all gonna be mad with this. <laughs> let's see, man. Let's check it out. And grill, number four. The most acidic of all. Oh, yeah. I guess that's why I guess you drunk, because it dehydrates the hell out of you. Mm. I so think there you, you have it, family. Check your urine test on that. Oh yeah, check your <laughs> urine test. Now what I'm going to do, I got some alkaline water right here. Let's see how much alkaline water per acidic does it takes to turn it different colors. Right. So we're going to go with the propel over here. Let's pour some in there. Still in change. We can pour the whole thing in there and it still won't change. So that means you're going to need two gallons of water to equal out the acidic and the propel. Mm -hmm. Let's go to, well, you, the There's smart water, water is already at neutral. Right. But let's go ahead and see if we can turn it. Yes, you can. Oh, yeah. There you go. Sprite. Let's see if we can test that. Nope. No, if anything, it's more diluted. <laughs> it's diluting it, but that's about it. All right, let's go with the Gatorade. No. God damn. No. Nothing. Let's check the wine. No. No. Now, let me do this. Do we have some acidic water? We got this uh Dasani. Dasani right here. They pour this out and give me a line. We're gonna go ahead and see if they tell us, you know, should I try the, the uh key line test? Yes. Okay. That's worth trying. Because right. people say that it alkalizes yeah, the water. Yeah, most people say key limes alkaline the water. Now, I I used to be an advocate of that too until I did the experiment myself. And this is why we can't listen to what other people say. We have to do the experiments ourselves. You got a key lime? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pour this Dasani. First, I'm going to test the Dasani and see if it's alkaline or acid. Alright. That's the key line. I mean, that's the uh, the sign. Now let's go ahead and test it. There we go. Acid the sign. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go grab a key line and I'm gonna put it in and I want to see if it turns. Key lines right here. You got your squeezer. Alright. Here we go. Whew. 
try some more drops, but I think it's your <laughs> turn. Right. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going, we going to the... Do neutral water. Neutral water? Like, do clean water and see if it turns. No. Nope. It's not turning. So, now, maybe these, if it's true, we haven't found it to be true yet, but maybe these key lines are hybrids. But I heard once the supposed acidity of the key line hits your digestive tracts and your stomach acid, then from there, your chemical balance or the chemical reaction would change it alkaline. Now, I could agree on that if most people who told me that showed me that. Right. But that's that's another spook, what I would call, of me depending on it to change in my stomach. No, it should be, to me, it should be alkaline where we can see it. And then the same when we ingest it. Mm -hmm. So for all my family and friends out there, man, like I said, man, I'm going to be bringing more experiments to you guys and more, more foundational stuff that we can actually show our kids. Now, look, if you show a kid this, he will be amazed by it. And he might start following uh, science and help.